Hello Flustube, my name is Tamara and in today's video I wanted to show you two um, works like finished projects. They are small but nevertheless they are finished projects. So this is going to be the um, uh, Biscornio Mary 15 by Just Nan. Finally, I, uh, I finished it. And um, I finished my first ornament from a lettuce stitch kit of eight ornaments. I stitched the first one. So enjoy the video. I have managed to stitch, uh, make the back stitch, attach beads of uh, like all the 10 parts which are stitched on uh, raw opalescent linen and I wanted to show them with you. So actually I have two thirds of the work which is ready, I mean like stitched. Because uh, five by five, I, I can already attach these ones and I'll have the top and the bottom or vice versa because you can use it like both. This work doesn't have a top or a bottom, you can use both of them. So um, I would say that uh, stitching on raw opalescent, on opalescent linen, it's not my favorite deal to, to do. But here it has a very, um, how do I say? Christmas <laughs> atmosphere roll this linen so uh, I would recommend it even if you don't like to stitch on such linen as I don't like because it's beautiful. I wanted to show you what I have here in detail because when I'm going to put them together you won't see the uh, stitches and what I have here so clearly. And um, so these three elements, I think these are candy canes, I'm not sure, these three elements are uh, the same. Because in the very beginning I was looking carefully, um, I was not sure if um, they are the same or not. Because uh, in Just Nan's designs uh, you can be tricked very easily when you just have a first look and you say, ah, it's the same. And when you start stitching, you notice that it's not the same. That's why I analyzed very, very like carefully and yes, these two are the same. Because one is going to be on one side, the other on the other side. Then not the same, but a pair. So there is such a ginger boy and such a ginger girl. I think it's clear who is who. Ginger boy is the one with the candy canes and ginger girl is with the heart. And then there is a pair of Santas. So like there are two Santas. This one and this one with green mittens. You know, it's amazing how uh, such nice uh, <laughs> mini designs can can fit a, a, such a small square it's it's amazing and then designs which come one by one so here is a christmas bird i like this one a lot it matches the pin <laughs> very very well then a pair of reindeers have the spotted rudolph <laughs> so because it's indicated that this one should have like um, a red nose because this one is rudolph then there is such a snowman with two stars and uh, by the way i wanted to tell you that regarding the backstitch so the instruction says that the backstitch all the backstitch has to be in one thread but when i started doing it i was not uh, satisfied because i thought it's not very evident it's not well seen that's why some of the backstitch i did in two threads for example the arms of the snowman are in two threads his mouth is in two threads because in one i didn't like so be careful if you so my recommendation, start doing it in one thread. If you don't like how it looks and it's like almost invisible, go through that line one more time and you'll see that how it goes. And the angel, I like this one very much. I would say that this one took me most of the time because the um, uh, face of the angel is stitched like in cross stitch one thread over one, like one over one. And it's a little bit like small, but it's very beautiful, this one. And a lot of backstitch, backstitch on the hair and backstitch here, but it's nice. This one is very, very nice. So I have to, to do the other five. I have like five on the ruby wine linen, and then I can start like putting everything together. I can't wait, honestly, I can't wait like having this, this one done. I have been waiting for, for this work so long. But meanwhile, you know, like uh, I am stitching quickly because I, um, how do I say, I enjoy so, this work so much that it goes quickly, but I am not rushing it. It goes quickly by itself. 
So this is this is the kind of uh, how they say perfect situation when you have the perfect uh, project, you have the perfect mood, and you you have been waiting for this one for for a long time. Okay, so I will show you how the um, uh, squares on uh, uh, ruby linen look like, and then probably it's going to be the end, the ready work. And I finished the last five squares the burgundy ones i wanted to show you before like going on to put everything together so these ones um, i w wish i would say that were stitched uh, easier uh, yes the um how they say the design <laughs> it's easier but the thing that it you have to stitch it on a dark uh, fabric it makes the stitching slower at least this is my case i stitch a little bit slower on a dark uh, fabric and uh, and by the way, uh, the um, linen itself, I didn't find it as pleasant as the uh, Swigert. And so here we have like uh, two um, fir trees, Christmas trees, sorry. They are Christmas trees. And by the way, they are identical. So they are being stitched quite easily. I was stitching them both in the same time. So they were next one to the other, and I was stitching like one color in one design, the same color in the second design, and so on and so forth. And there are like three uh, snowflakes. They may seem the same, but they are different, by the way. I mean, the, the white uh, stitches in, uh, in the, in the um, snowflakes, they, they are different. These ones were being stitched um, quite uh, quickly because they are not so complicated. It's just this white ornament and by the way if you speak about the speed of stitching this uh, uh, um, designs so um, this was my main work first of all like this uh, design was my main project so if i stitched uh, some something uh, on another project it was just a little bit just to get my eyes out of this one so that i wouldn't get tired of it but this one was the main one so stitching one of these squares per day, so it's real. Stitching two, it depends on the time you have for stitching and it depends how difficult the design is, but I made it, like I managed to stitch two. And my totally like uh, <laughs> biggest record, it was when I stitched these three snowflakes in one day. So, because they are not so complicated and I had time, I had time to stitch and I stitched them in, uh, in the same, um, uh, day, but uh, generally speaking, uh, nevertheless, the design is quite uh, time-consuming. I wouldn't say it's difficult, but it's time-consuming. You know, when when you are stitching it. So I have everything stitched together. The beads are attached. I just have to put everything together into a beautiful biscornio. I hope I'll manage to put everything together because uh, I already said that I haven't um, assembled uh, this form of biscornio. Well, one more thing I wanted to tell you about the materials which were used here. Mm. So uh, the um, striped beads, I don't know if I told you, you can make a screenshot. This is the shop I bought from, it's a US shop. Uh, they are um, size 11. And uh, the uh, um, white with red stripes, you'll need 120. And you need just on the raw linen, I said, it seems to me. These ones, the um, red and the green stripes, you'll need just 20. So they are needed just in this burgundy, on this burgundy fabric, and you'll need four for each square. So four multiplied by five, it's 20. And generally speaking, if you don't want to spend money on this um, um, striped beads, you can replace them by white mill heel beads easily. Just don't take the one, the, um, how do I say? Take the uh, opaque ones, so no, not uh, not the shiny ones. It will be better because they will resemble the snow, something like this. And uh, what else? The cranic. Uh, the beads, uh, I had also, I said I had gold magnifica, but they were like uh, leftovers. It was enough. So you'll need them, but not a lot. And the um, burgundy ones, by the way, I had a full new... Uh, mill heel um, pack and I would say that I use almost half of it. So you need those as well uh, The cranic by the way, I used about half. It's 002 high luster number four very fine braid I used the half of it. So you'll need quite a lot and the Wix that works threads the biggest surprise <laughs> so this one Garnet the simple one five yards 
I um, this is the leftover so it was enough but this is the leftover so you'll need like one one skein of this you'll need for for all the five the 15 um, squares and uh, the uh, Perlin number eight it finished so this one it was enough for me to do the back stitch on the perimeter of all 15 uh, squares and it finished but I still need this one to do the whip stitch to put everything they to put the biscornu together um, I would buy this one, but it's not sold in many shops and uh, the two shops which I found here in UK which They are selling this pearl number eight. They don't have in stock number. Uh, they don't have in stock uh, this color So I won't wait because I don't have time to wait and I uh, I will just simply take the um, 18 uh, the um, 815 number of DMC which is used in this uh, um project it's used uh, for the interior for the designs like inside the designs the cross stitches are made with this color so i'm go just going to take two threads and i'm going to do the whip stitch with this one because i don't think there is going to be a big difference or it's going to be in something like noticeably different and by the way i wanted to recommend you in case you don't want to spend money on that wix that works I mean like the simple one, the Perlena one, you can use easily, uh, 815. Just make sure you buy at least two, two skeins because you'll need a lot. So I'll do it, we'll see, but I don't think it's going to be a big, a big deal of me changing this one. So let's put everything together to see what we have. And I have the work, the project, I have the Biscornu. It makes me super happy, honestly, super happy because um, I wanted this design, I wanted this thing in my hand for a year. So those who, who, who know what this means will understand me. So um, I would say that uh, it's the first time I put together such a form of Biscornu. Um, I would say this one requires more time uh, because you know you like you stitch 15 pieces you cut them and then you put them together so it's a lot of work to be done but uh, step by step you, you are doing it so it's not a problem to, to, to do it um, I uh, filled it in quite quite okay because um, the form of this biscorium I think it requires because you have to fill it in so that it would have this this form so um, I filled it in very, very like well. It has a very good form. Um, one thing I wanted to tell you is to be careful and attach the beads very, very well because uh, there are beads everywhere. So this side, there are beads, there are beads here because you're taking it in your hand. There are beads here. So no matter w which size you, you are like laying it, it will have beads. You see, so attach the beads very well so that they wouldn't fall apart from from your biscornium. And uh, what else? Uh, and um, you know the fact that um, this uh, back stitch on perimeter, the one you are using to whip stitch to put everything together, was perle number eight by which that works. The fact that it was perle, the structure of the thread, I mean, it made me, it made very easy to put everything together, you know, like to make this whipping stitch when you are taking the, the thread, it was easy. It was easier when you are working in two threads, simple two threads by DMC, because I have done works like this, where it was indicated to use simple DMC two threads, and here it was easier, much easier, honestly. 
So uh, the fact that I didn't have enough thread and I used uh, two threads of DMC to make this whipping stitch, it was okay. And by the way, if you look carefully, it cannot be noticed any difference at all, but any difference at all. But the fact that I had enough uh, to, to make the, uh, the back stitch and it was easy for me to put everything together, it was like, it was heaven. <laughs> And uh, the button which I used here in the middle, it's the only one which I didn't find like the original. I said in the video where I showed all the materials, and I will remind you that it was such a Swarovski Rivoli. It's, it's a button. It's burgundy. And it's 14 millimeters. And I like it. I like it greatly. So I, would, I wouldn't change for a golden one. So this will be like my signature, you know. That's why my... Uh, my uh, um, how do I say? My biscornu is going to be to be different from the other ones, and um, it was difficult for me, you know. After putting it together, I had to this center to to like go from one side to other from other side and make this uh, hole here, and it was quite difficult. I had to look for a very long uh, needle, and it was difficult. And when I already attached these uh, buttons, they are not like perfectly, perfectly centered. If you are looking very carefully, you can see it. If you are not looking very carefully, you cannot see it. So it's something like this. But now it's difficult to change, and I wouldn't because because it's it's very difficult to change. And this is it, I have the work. And the next moment is the moment which I was waiting for a year. Yes, it means like taking the pins and attaching them here. So the angel will go to the angel. The Christmas bird will go to the Christmas bird. Um, what is it? The star will go to this ornament. The ginger man will get a reindeer, although the reindeers are on this side, so you can like thrust the pins here. And uh, Santa is going to get a snowflake or a star. Snowflake. This is the star. So this is how it looks like. The moment I was waiting a year. <laughs> Very nice. I'm super satisfied that I that I I made this project. I finished it because I, I already said that this was the greatest project I wanted to, for for this uh, to be finished for this Christmas. I hope you liked like what I, I what I showed you. In case you are interested to stitch it by yourself, there is a previous video on my channel where I'm showing which materials I used because I had just the original. Uh, uh, pins which I bought last year from uh, the silver needle. The rest of it I made from scratch. I didn't have anything. So if you are curious and the, to find out or you want to stitch it for yourself, you can look at the video where I am showing all the materials I chose and I, I even uh, indicate there where I, I bought them. And while stitching uh, my Just Nan Biscornu Mary 15, I um, started this kit as well with uh, Christmas ornaments by Letty Stitch just to have something parallel, you know, because sometimes you are getting like tired by what you are stitching like as a main project. And I managed to stitch uh, one ornament which I wanted to show to you and tell you what I think about this uh, ornaments and um, this newly released uh, kit. Um, so uh, it's being stitched on plastic uh, canvas. This is what I have. I stitched Santa because this is why I bought this kit. I fell in love with this Santa. It's very nice, very, very nice. Um, so uh, what I have changed here actually is uh, the fact that uh, the key indicates to stitch in um, three threads. Uh, the, and it's quite difficult to stitch in three threads. I just stitched his uh, boots and I stopped because I don't like how the cross stitches are looking. And the most important thing is that it was so difficult to stitch in three threads. Uh, that's why I continued, like the rest of the design, I continued in uh, two threads. Yes, it's not so, the um, stitches are not so, how do I say, uh, fluffy. <laughs> And I wouldn't say that they cover so well the plastic canvas, but I am satisfied. I like how it looks like. And um, 
it's so easy to stitch like this it's so easy to stitch like this so i decided this uh, uh, this issue i'm going to stitch the rest of the ornaments in uh, two threads so i'm not going to stitch in three as they recommend the other issue is the metallic thread which is here and this one which is a uh, anchor and it's so difficult to stitch with it. It's so difficult. So this thread you have to split in two and you stitch with that half. It's six mini threads. Um, it's difficult to stitch with it, but um, I think there are just two solutions. Either you deal with it and you stitch with what you have here. Either you can uh, change it with uh, something from your stash. For example, I have uh, Rainbow Gallery Metallics. I have uh, Cranic. But um, stitching this one, I just insisted on myself to, to stitch with this one to see how, how the design it will look like. And then um, I thought about this and I decided that I'm going to stitch the rest of the ornaments using this metallic because after this, I don't have what to do with it. So I won't use for other designs for sure. Uh, and uh, taking um, Rainbow Gallery from my stash, uh, using it here, mm, I just don't want to do it. I, I, because I'm keeping that Rainbow Gallery for other designs, like, uh, um, how they say, designs which require more expensive uh, um, materials so that's why so far I decided to to stick to the metallics from the kit if and in case I'm going to be so disappointed or it's going to be so impossible that I, I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't uh, manage to stitch with them I will give up and I'll choose something for my stash but until then I intend to continue with uh, with them so this is my my decision Ideally, until um, Christmas, I would like to stitch one more ornament, but I don't know. I'm working uh, from these palettes directly because I don't know how many I'm going to manage to stitch this year. And the rest of them are going to, transfer, to be transferred for the next year. So um, I don't want to use uh, a separate organizer. But it's quite difficult to work from these palettes. Uh, you will need a, a, an organizer if you decide to stitch them all and um ah, and the beads so uh, there are like two color of beads in the in the pack so it's this one it's uh, gold and red i uh, when it came time for gold ones i uh, decided that i don't want this ones because they come a little bit um how do i say it they are a little bit transparent it's not like that that christmas gold i know that's why it was just a thing i decided it's like it's not a thing you have to do because there are like just three gold beads here four red here and two red here so it's not a lot and i i uh, change them i use the mill hill beads from my stash so the gold ones i use these ones and uh, for the red ones i used these ones so these ones were left over from a mill hill kit if i'm not wrong and these ones i remember that web i bought them like from for a project so this is the change I, 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 I made so I would uh, I would say that the kit is is very nice it's very beautiful uh, the I mean the the ornaments the designs are very beautiful but still uh, for me some changes uh, had to be made uh, while if you decide to buy such a kit if you are going to start stitching it you'll see how it works best for you and by the way because this is a new kit um, probably it will just start being stitched so if you know somebody who is stitching it please indicate in the comments because i'll be happy to, to watch uh, others uh, stitchers uh, videos about uh, these designs uh, these are all the projects which i wanted to show you in today's video i hope you liked uh, you liked my projects i hope you liked the video don't forget to subscribe and see you in my next videos until then bye bye